Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Hamped Up. Y'all ready for this? When you think of winter, you don't often think pool, but for members of the swimming and diving team, a dip in the pool isn't just a summer activity. Divers at the high school spend the winter training and competing all over the state. The quality of each diver certainly outweighs the small quantity, and each diver has already had great success so far this season. I talked with assistant coach Joel Beerwert, the record holder of the NHS male dive team, about what his transition from diving and coaching has been like. My coaching style is very sporadic. Um, I try to I try to be happy-go-lucky all the time, and you know, just try to encourage them and you know, push them to be better. Um, but you know, it changes day to day. You know, some days I got to be the jerk and I got to be mean just to like, get them off the board, and I got to talk them off a cliff or you know, say whatever I got to say to make them do the dive that I know they can do. Um, so it varies day to day, um, but I really just try to I try to keep it fun and entertaining at all times. Uh, I don't think going to Northampton High necessarily helps me coach the high school divers, um, but it's definitely not a disadvantage at all. You know, I went to the school, so I kind of know what they're going through at school. I went through that curriculum and stuff like that, so I kind of know, you know, peak times of the season where they got a bunch of tests and they're getting tons of homework and stuff like that. I kind of know that aspect. I also talked with senior and school record holder Jordan Vandegrift and senior Harper Brooks Khan about their overall diving experience. It's really nice having someone who's one close to our age and has held records in the past because he knows how to do the harder dives and he knows how to get us to those next levels and having someone to relate to on a more, I don't know, mental level, it's nice to have fun and practice and be ourselves. Um, I think it's a lot of visual visualization. I think that's really important because you can't do the dive without picturing it and really like doing the movement too while you're um, like waiting on the side for your dive. It's just a lot of time to wait before you go and then the next people go. It takes, you, you have a lot of time to really have to work through it in your head. I visualize myself doing the dive before I actually do it. Our coach Louie always emphasizes that visualization is key and by visualizing myself doing it the right way, I have more of a chance of doing it the right way on the board. I think it really is more of a mental sport than physical. I mean, you have to be strong to be able to perform all these things and do these different twists and flips and stuff, but I think if you're in your head about it, you can't perform well. I'd say diving's more of a mental sport because 90% of what you're doing is all in your head, and getting yourself to do the dive and get off the board is probably the hardest part. Once you get past that, like, diving can be super fun. Jordan and Jason convinced me to dive despite my mom's strict no diving rule. So mom, if you're watching, you can turn off now. The swimming and diving team has a home meet today at 4 against Aguam and a meet tomorrow at 8 in Longmeadow. Girls basketball is away tonight at 7 in Granby and track has a meet at 345 at Smith College. Thanks for watching Hemped Up, I'm Lulu Kesson.